Queensland doctors say that new equipment unveiled at the Royal Brisbane and Women's Hospital will help improve the quality of life for premature babies. It's known as the P-Pod and will be used to track the infant's development and ensure they get the proper nutritional care. Ebony Vaz is only six weeks old, but she's already at the forefront of a medical breakthrough. She's testing out Australia's first P-Pod at the Royal Brisbane and Women's Hospital. We're really here in Queensland in a pioneering role in conducting this research on babies. The new equipment was funded through the Golden Casket Foundation. Doctors will use it to accurately measure a baby's body fat and fat-free mass. Maybe there's not much fat under the skin, but there's a lot of fat centrally. The measurements will be taken at birth, six weeks and six months. From there, they can monitor a baby's rate of growth and cater for their dietary needs. When you can do that early on, you can avoid lots of other diseases, hopefully, in the longer term. The information is especially important for premature babies. The brain is developing in the environment that's outside mum at a time when it would normally be developing inside mum. Previously, doctors relied on less accurate methods like skin fold tests to determine a baby's body composition. With the P-Pod, they can obtain weight data to within 0.1 of a gram. That's reassuring for Ebony's mother, who didn't have the same opportunity with her three other children. It just gives you a bit more peace of mind. It's a lot more informative than just normal measurements. Six percent of Queensland babies are born preterm. Maggie Hill, ABC News.